Hi everyone, welcome back to Power365 Solutions Power Shorts. Today we're going to be looking at tackling the issue of setting the user's personalization settings dependent on what we'd like to be them from a system administrator perspective. This is most pertinent in mod driven applications and Dynamics 365 applications, and this is usually done via the XRM Toolbox user system utility settings. But today we're going to look at how we can automate that process when a new user is added to an organization. So without further ado, let's kick into it. So before we kick into the demo, let's talk a little bit around what are personalization settings. So personalization settings are more prominent in modern driven applications and Dynamics 365 applications. And they define the personal options for that individual user account per environment. They have the ability to configure things like formats, and we'll take a little look at that shortly. Uh, but it is important to note that these are per environment. So these are not going to copy across from your UAT to your production instances. So you would need to configure these in each environment. And the individual user may need to configure them in each individual environment. What we're doing here, hopefully, will mitigate that, and they will automatically be set at the environment level when the user is added to the organization or we're going to look to retrospectively clean up existing users within that system as well. So how does a user access their personalization settings? So from their account, they would come into their application, select the settings cog, click personalization settings, and then configure their personal options. In here, you can see things like the records per page, the time zone, um, and then more notably things like email, allowing uh, Microsoft Dynamics 365 users to send emails on your behalf tends to be quite important. And then also formats. This is the biggest one because users will come to you and say, well, my dates uh, all over the shop. It looks like I'm in the USA. Um, my currency is not correct. And that's just because they haven't got the individual format configured um, to be the correct currency. So let's go off that. And then what we like to do at Power365 Solutions is implement a flow straight from the offset in, an, in a customer's organization. And this can be as change type as just added, but we like to do it as modified so we can retrospectively clean up users. And you can see that I've got a select columns as a custom field that we've created here. We'll run over that shortly. And then all I'm doing is updating a row for the user settings. And then I'm passing it the row ID of the individual triggered record. And then you can see that I'm configuring the information that I would like that individual user to have on their account. So this isn't very intuitive and you're not expected to kind of remember these codes. Obviously, calendar type zero doesn't really mean an awful lot to a lot of people. Uh, when you come down here, you'll see things like the long format code, the number separator. So the biggest thing here is just retrieving these settings. How do I know what the time zone code 85 is? So the best way to implement this is to go to your individual account. Obviously, in this instance, I'm logged in as myself. Configure the personalization settings that you desire for other people within your organization. So I'd come in here, I'd change my time zone code to suit what I would like. I'd change my formats. I would then change my email settings. Then I'd select OK. Once that's done, I would like to get this as an example record. That's pretty straightforward. All you can do is just create an on-demand flow. With that on-demand flow, you can choose to get a row by ID. And then I can just simply pass it um, the ID parameter from the URL of my individual account. So I've gone to my user record and I've selected the parameter of the ID. If we go back to the flow, we can select the users table or user settings table. Note here that you've got two settings tables. You've got the user settings with the lowercase and the user settings with the uppercase. Look at the logical name. So look at the user settings and the user settings collection. It's important to note that we want to be set in the user settings collection in this instance. Then we can go to the user settings collection. We can paste in the ID of the example of user. We can press test, choose to do it manually, save and test that. This is going to go and retrieve all the personalization settings that I've configured for my individual account. And then now we'll know exactly what all those codes mean that previously meant nothing to us. We can now copy them into this flow or make note of them in a kind of a one note and then pass them on every single time you implement something for a customer. Because obviously this may differ uh, dependent on what customer you have and what customer type you have. You can see now that I've got the row by ID, the user ID is simply the user ID of the record. It's the same on the user settings. And here you can find out everything like the calendar type, the currency format code, the currency symbol, which is currently the, the dollar. 
um, the date format code, and you can start to copy these across to your desired flow process. So how is this done usually? This is usually done by your XRM toolbox tool, the user settings utility. Here you have the ability to load user and settings. You can select all those individual users. You can apply the personalization settings you'd like them to have. And then you can select update user settings. Main issue with this is that it's ad hoc and obviously it's not gonna be autonomous. It's not gonna be when a new user joins your organization. You kind of have to remember to do this on a scheduled basis. We don't like that. We don't like the intervention part. Uh, we would like to do this straight from the offset. As I said, this is what this Power Automate flow is doing. So there's no need to go for that system utility settings. Um, now we've got the desired setting for that individual user based off the example that I've generated here. We can take a little look into what I'm doing with the settings trigger. So on the user record, I have a settings trigger field. It's just a simple date and time. And then all I'm doing is creating a real-time workflow that is an on-demand process and also triggers when the record is created. It's an organizational level and I'm going to run it in the context of the owner. And all it simply does is just updates that user table and updates the field, in particularly the settings trigger with the modified on of that individual user account. This is now going to act as a triggering process for my flow. I've talked about this in previous PowerShort videos, but this is a real useful feature. What this now allows me to do is go into another XRM toolbox tool called Bulk Workflow Execution. I can choose the workflow in this instance because it's on demand. I've chose to do it for the user set default settings trigger. And here you can choose a CRM view that's already exists within the system, or I can use a custom fetch XML query to apply to the, the users that already exist within the system. But this is generally best practice because it allows you to do things on demand and will also allow you to retrospectively do it. If an individual comes in and they change their personalization settings themselves, you could run this on a scheduled basis also. So you could say uh, once every week, check the user system settings or overwrite those system settings so that the individual will see those formats and things that you've defined at your system level. So if you go back into the flow process, you can see here uh, that it's going to work by if I manually test this flow, I go back to my individual user record, <clears throat> I'll select flow and I'll choose to run the workflow. This will then apply those uh, individual settings. We'll come back to a Power Automate flow. We can see that the process is actually running, uh, hopefully successfully. Yeah, it updates a row user settings. We'll go back to my individual application. I'll refresh it. And here I'm going to be checking the personalization settings. Uh, notably, let's take a look at the formats. So if you go in the personalization settings, you can now see that my time zone code has changed. This is generally one of the biggest things with an application. Because if you've got some date fields configured as user local, it will depend on what their time zone code is configured as. In this instance, obviously, it's GMT plus 00. zero. That takes into account kind of BST. So we'd like that to be applied to every single user account. You can see that obviously updated in this instance from GMT to this GMT plus 00. zero. <clears throat> Hopefully that's been helpful. If you've got any comments, please leave them below. If not, I'm going to see you in the next one.